break. I was away from home, out of town for the weekend, the celebration, Mother's Day, all of that. Yep. Whoa. Um, we're going to do some armor. And not just armor, because, I mean, you can find tutorials for armor all over the place. Uh, I want to create some armor, but I specifically want to work on uh, enchantments and uh, potion effects and stuff like that. But we can't really put the cart before the horse and go directly to enchantments and potion effects, so we've got to create armor first. So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to have to... Yeah, do this. Go to the right one. Rather than my prep one. Close some stuff up. And open up the main modding glass. Cool. So, uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out um, not here, but we are going to start out here. And we are going to open up some some textures. Start working on that. We're going to uh, just stick really with vanilla stuff right now. Um, so we can go into our vanilla items. Then we can go to models, then armor. And you'll notice that there's two files for each one, right? And uh, these are both required to essentially complete the entire package. So we're going to open the first one, we're going to open the second one, and we're going to base it off of the diamond at this point. So, um, what these are is these, these comprise the model of the armor. This right here is the top of your head, side of your head, front of your head, side of your head, back of your head, right? Um, let me actually do this. So, top of your head, side of your head, front of your head, side of your head, back of your head. This right here is the bottom of your foot. This is an arm. This is the chest, arm, chest, so on and so forth. You also got your feetsies and your shoulders. This right here is your shoulders. And I believe that these are your feetsies. Because that's what my daughter would call them. This bad boy is your legs. Pretty straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make it easy here. Like I always do. Big fan of that. And we're going to go to 139. I did this earlier, and that was the one that I liked. Why are we doing this 139? Because we are going to make, or at least I'm going to use my existing one, and I'm going to make Topaz armor. So we're going to save as, and we are going to really maintain the same naming scheme. And I know that we haven't done that with our other stuff, but we're going to do it this time. Because I said that's why. So assets, you know, craft, um, textures, model, new folder, armor, and topaz layer one. Save. We go to this one. Save as, and it's going to make me navigate all the way back down there. Balls. That's okay. Not diamond, but topaz. Now, there's um, a website. And what is that website called? Um, I'm doing some Googles here real fast. Um, here we go. This one's sweet. I 
maximize minecraft.novaskin.me um, and this is actually really cool right so from here we can actually come and look at all of the different models right so if we actually wanted to look at the dragon we get a 3d view of the dragon and over here we can see the texture map for it right so you actually hold your mouse and you over it and you see the individual things that it's actually showing you so we don't actually want that we want to go down to armors we have a diamond layer diamond layer one diamond layer two so diamond layer one here's diamond layer one we've got our head we've got our shoulders we've got our front and back and sides of our chest and we got our feetsies right diamond layer two I am probably not navigating this in the most efficient way and I'm pretty sure I just went too far uh, diamond layer two it's all about the legs the legs and it looks like the pelvis area below the belly button the junk area right um, what you can do is you can actually, and I, you know, I've said repeatedly that I'm not an artist. I've had some spirited discussions with a buddy of mine. Um, you can actually come in and texture this right on the model to see how it looks, right? And then you can save that bad boy. Pretty sweet. So check that out. Uh, for me this is sufficient this is sufficient so make sure that you got something to work with um, what we're going to do here first is we're going to uh, create a new tool material we're going to say public not a tool material but an armor material and we're going to call this topaz armor this is going to equal emin, enum, emin, enum helper dot you guessed it add armor material so the name topaz armor pretty simple what is going to the durability of this going to be now I'm going to type 10 but eh, we're going to do this so um, here we're going to do new int um, and it's going to be an array and we're going to do a curly brace and we want to do uh, let's say Um, what do we want to do here? It has to equal 20. So let's do 3, comma, 8, comma, 6, comma, 3. I believe that's diamond right there. Right there. We'll do a comma and we'll do a 10. And then we'll close that up with that guy right there. Uh, we want to import this. But what we want to do is, like, what is all this garbage? Well, as you kind of spell it out, it kind of tells you that this is the, we have the name, the durability, the um, uh, something array, and then enchantability. But really, if we want to do this right, we can just come into, excuse me, hold control, armor material. And let's dig in and check this out. So armor material. Here we see the values for cloth, chain, um, is there even a way to make chain mail in the game anymore? I know that it's always been in there, but for the longest time we weren't able to. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've actually played Minecraft. So I'm not sure. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Maybe I need to actually play the game that I'm spending so much time working on with y'all. Um, durability. Diamond's 33. I set mine to 10. So mine is crappier than armor at this point. So let's bump that up. Let's make that 20. We're going to put this topaz armor somewhere between this and this. And you know what? Um, there's 18 points different, so 9. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make it 24. 24. Now, these guys right here, that's 
what it's all about. This is your damage, uh, your 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 max damage factor. Okay, so here's the deal. Each one point is half of a shield on the GUI for each piece of armor. So here's here's what we're gonna do. Right, we're gonna save this. Let's jump in. Hopefully this works. It better work. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing textures. Probably. I move that stuff around a lot. Um, holy sugar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm missing all my textures. Walk. Walk. Um... Well, that's no good. Where's it looking for these? New craft textures, items. Hmm. Hmm. Something's not right here. You know what? And it's probably throwing these errors when I move them all over. That's not good. Because that means I overlooked something. Sorry, I didn't leave. I'm just thinking. I'm going to come back to this. Combat. So, let's get rid of all this garbage. So, the first thing that we're going to start with is leather. So, we are going to put on all our leather stuff. And when we do game mode zero, you'll notice that we have three and a half... Uh, three and a half uh, armor points right there. So three and a half armor points. When we come over here and we look at our ah, go away right here. Our max damage factor. Each one point is worth half a shield. So if we have three and a half shields, that would mean that there's a total of seven points. So, with cloth, one plus three is four, plus two is six, plus one is seven. Right, so really what it's saying is your helm, your chest, your legs, and your boots. Now, if we come over here, we do this. We do this. And combat, and we take a diamond, like so, um, and let's just take off this crap, and let's put these on. You will notice that we have full shields, right, on our stuff. Full shields. And the reason why is because we have 10 shields total. Each one is worth two. And we come over here and we look at diamond. We see three plus eight is 11, plus six is 17, plus three is 20. So we have a total of 20 altogether with diamond. Um, if we look at um, armor, which is the second most whatever in the game, powerful, I guess. Two plus six is eight. 13, 15. So we want to put ours somewhere in between that. Now what I did was I set mine to the same as um, diamond at this point. However, I don't want it to be that good. I actually, if if we have diamond as, as, as full right there, I want to kind of put it right in the middle of the other two. So what's right in the middle of 15? 20, well that would be 17.5, which means that I would need to have uh, 17.5, I guess I really can't have 17.5, can I? So we'll just do 18, we'll do 18 and we'll call it good. Um, and we are going to do this. Let me 
because I'm kind of worried about baddies coming in here and eating my face. Um, so we are going to set this armor. Our armor, we're going to take one off of that and one off of that. So when we put this on, right, what we're going to see is we're going to see, um, I can't point to it at this point, but we'll have nine of the ten armor things. So just to make sure that we're, we're, we're illustrating this right, let's do this. We'll make some room. Make some room. Um, Now yeah, let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Get away. Um, armor is second most powerful. And this one is worth 15. So we should have, what, seven and a half shields. Right? Right. Seven and a half. Let me count them out here with my finger. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Six. 7.5. Sweet. 7.5, right? 7.5 times 2, 15. So you see how that kind of works? Right? This whole uh, uh, max damage factor, or no, excuse me, the damage reduction amount array, that's, that's this bit right here. Max damage factor is, of course, how much damage factor each piece each piece multiply this by its own value of the material. Right? This is the item damage, how much it can absorb before it breaks. Make sense? Follow me so far? Enchantability? Um, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what this means. Um, it just says returns or uh, returns the enchantability factor, but what is that enchantability factor? I'm not entirely sure. So, honestly, if, if any of you know, comment below so that way I can learn and everybody else can learn as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's actually where I'm going to stop for tonight. Uh, we did our textures. We did our armor material. You know what, let's just do this. Let's just get this out of the way. We're going to need IDs for these. So we're going to do public, static, int, um, yeah, int. And we are going to say topaz helm id, and I'm doing both of those, id, public, static. Don't mind me, cat, just walk in front of my freaking monitor. Um, ah, gross. Picked her up and she farted. Cat ass. It's in my mouth. Yeah. Uh, topaz, leggings. Let's just do legs. Because I know I might have to call that bastard later and I'm going to have to retype that old fucking thing. Um, public, static, int, topaz. Uh, should we do feetsies? No, we'll just do boots. Boots ID. So that's where I'm going to stop for now. And we'll pick up in the next episode. Um, and we'll get started with this stuff right here. And then I think next episode we'll finish up the armor. We can get it to where you can wear it. It renders correctly. I'm going to figure out what's up with what's up with my my stuff here. IDK, what that's all about. Uh, and then we'll move on to potion and enchantments. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. This is Neil. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.